Wuthering Heights. The horizons ring me like faggots, tilted and disparate, and always unstable. Touched by a match, they might warm me, and their fine lines singe the air to orange before the distances they pin evaporate, weighting the pale sky with a solider color. But they only dissolve and dissolve like a series of promises as I step forward. There is no life higher than the grass tops or the hearts of sheep, and the wind pours by like destiny, bending everything in one direction. I can feel it trying to funnel my heat away. If I pay the roots of the heather too close attention, they will invite me to whiten my bones among them. The sheep know where they are, browsing in their dirty wool clouds, gray as the weather. The black slots of their pupils take me in. It is like being mailed into space, a thin, silly message. They stand about in grandmotherly disguise, all wig curls and yellow teeth and hard, marbly baws. I come to wheel ruts and water limpid as the solitudes that flee through my fingers. Hollow doorsteps go from grass to grass. Lentil and sill have unhinged themselves. Of people the air only remembers a few odd syllables. It rehearses them moaningly. Black stone, black stone. The sky leans on me, me, the one upright among all horizontals. The grass is beating its head distractedly. It is too delicate for a life in such company. Darkness terrifies it. Now, in valleys narrow and black as purses, the house lights gleam like small change.